Hello and welcome to BIMobject.com. My name is Matthew Jackson and today I am presenting some objects from Grundfos. Grundfos, one of the largest uh, providers in the world of uh, pump solutions. And today we are presenting um, the first set of Alpha and Magna range of products. So I'm just going to click on, on Alpha 1. And we have obviously some description information uh, here about the, uh, about the object, some, some spec text. Uh, some links uh, off to uh, off to Grundfos's website, um, some related data and uh, some classification data here. Now, if I click download, what I get, of course, is I get um, my RFA and the Revit type catalog. There are a huge, huge variety of pumps uh, and uh, different specifications within each file, up to 500 per file. Uh, but the files are very small um, because they've been used, uh, created using a Revit type catalog. So this is really important that if you're using the Revit app like I am today, which is free to download from bimobject.com and is definitely should be part of your workflow, all I have to do is download this RFA here. If I'm not within the uh, BIM object application, then I need to download both files, and when I bring it into Revit, it will access this. But because I'm in the Revit app, we do this automatically for you. So if I click download, what, I will, what will now happen is the RFA will load. And now the RFA understands and knows that there is a type catalog, and this is how the type catalog looks. And the type catalog gives us the name or the type in Revit terms that we have here and I can select which ones I want to download. So if I click, let's say this one here, I can hold down uh, and I can bring in a few of these alphas and press OK. And these will now come in and I, you can now see on the left hand side here we've got the four different pumps that I've, I've downloaded and now placed here. So if I click, uh, let's say I click this one, if I, wrote, if I orientate it into the view that I'm in, then it's just easier. And there we go. And now that's placed. And what I can do, of course, is I can now run different uh, systems. So I can, I can change this as well. And I can place it into my project. Here I've got another one. So here I've already placed a. I think this is a magma. This is a magma three, international, um, and I've started drawing pipes. So pretty much all I have to do if I if I delete these pipe units like this, just delete all these pieces. I literally just click on to, onto the pump. Oh, need to delete that. Click onto the pump, and see I've got a node here, hundred millimeters, and I start drawing out as such. And now I can now integrate this into my system. Um, and there we go. If you click on these objects and go into the data, we've got some really important information about electrical supply inputs, uh, the mechanical uh, op optimal pressure ranges and temperature ranges in which these pumps should work within, and other information that you would find as standard uh, from bimobject.com. So download these, add them into your models. We have hopefully a lot more to come from Grundfos in the future. And any questions, please let us know.